All right, what's going on, guys? Hope y'all are having a great day today. Um, I know it's been a little bit for you guys. I apologize about that, but you know what? It's going to be, that's kind of the, the normal for you. But I wanted to do something a little bit different for today's video. Um, usually we'll be working on the Miata or doing something fun with the WRX or vice versa. Um, but in this video, uh, I actually got a really nice shop upgrade um, just for making videos and making me more efficient with working on my cars and um, all the above. And it, it just cleans up the area and all that fun stuff. So over here, we're taking a short walk. And uh, I noticed that on the short walk, so we'll fix that later. But... Anyways, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is the uh, just a Husky toolbox. I know some people are going to be like, "Uh, Husky, you know, you know, it's it's good. It's perfect for what I need it for, um, especially in this garage space. Um, in this, the, you know, besides where the car is, um, this is kind of just the corner that." is for me and my disposals. That's kind of the area that I'm kind of uh, renting at the moment. So this this whole corner plus the area for uh, my car. So um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of go over everything. And this, this whole setup just kind of works out perfectly for what I need it for. Um, so first, first things first, this cart here, this was a Harbor Freight cart. Um, and this is literally what I had all my tools on. And literally I had every tool that I owned pretty much on the top here. And then I had a, a, the bigger stuff below. And it always looked messy, it always looked crowded. And it overall wasn't a, a, a good system. It was good, but then I started buying more tools and Blah, blah, blah. If you know, you know, you've been on the rabbit hole of all this stuff. But for now, I've kind of turned it into like kind of a nice, neat little shelf here in the corner. Um, it's just so everything is off the ground, essentially. You know, I got some oil and stuff right there. Uh, there's more containers in that box. I have spray paint stuff, jack stands. Uh, you know, everything's off the ground. And then I have a handful of uh, detailing stuff um, a project for the Miata that's going to be an exhaust video here shortly I hope um, we got some other miscellaneous stuff back there uh, washer fluid you know whatever all that stuff is kind of on here this is the uh, under tray for the Miata uh, just for that's the exhaust heat shielding so um, and then I kind of jerry-rigged a shelf here um, I have a WX grill that I need to throw on before a big Northwest uh, varieties of fluids and sprays. Then I have a little bit more detailing stuff. I know this is cheap garbage, but um, it works for what I need it for. And I don't always use this on the WRX, which I'm slowly turning into a show car, but this is just for quick, quick stuff. I usually use this stuff on that because that's going to be the race car. Um, so yeah, I kind of have a short bit of things here and then uh, before we get into the ni nice Husky toolbox here, um, this was kind of my first ever toolbox ever. Uh, this was like my childhood toolbox. So a lot of the contents from this box is get, is now transferred into this box. Because, uh, you know, once if you're a man, you can't get rid of tools. You can only acquire more. Um, so I only have sockets in here. Uh, this was just a miscellaneous chrome sockets that uh, they don't have a home. Um, so those just live in here. I still pull out and grab a socket in here if I'm looking for a specific socket. Um, I have some extra wrenches in here, and then it's just some gloves, and there's not, nothing in that one. I have my uh, Makita Impact. Um, I just have the 3 8 attachment on there right now. Um, that guy just lives right here. I could get a home, make a home for it. I have the room for it. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, so first things first, the top drawer, 
This is going to be the frequently used drawer. I have all my wrenches. I have a body tool, uh, extensions. I use these sockets all the time. You're going to know it's a lot of Harbor Freight stuff in this video. Um, but as far as hand tools go, I like using Harbor Freight. Um, I have a variety of, of sockets and uh, wrenches and stuff in here. Um, I have... This is like, this is a bunch of sockets, impact rated sockets. So it's nice to have these. Um, that's kind of it for this top drawer. It's a nice wide drawer. In fact, all of this was just sitting on top of that at one point. So uh, that kind of throws in just a perspective. Um, so it's one, one drawer down. And another thing you guys need is some sort of some sort of real wheelie stool thing, roll around and sit at the same time. Uh, I think everyone needs some sort of stool like that. But anyway, moving on, second drawer down. Um, pliers and screwdriver attachments. It's kind of dirty here, don't mind that. Um, Bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I'm still missing some uh, screwdrivers and some pliers in here. Um, I have I have other pliers somewhere else, but I just need to find them first. They're somewhere in one of my toolbox. Other I, I have other places for tools as well, so I need to find all my tools and uh, actually get to put them in. Um, let's see. That's the second drawer. So we need to go here. This is the electrical box. The electrical drawer, I should say. Um, so this is, you know, has a variety of electrical stuff. I still have, I still have wires and pliers and I have a couple of wrenches in the trunk there. Um, so there's the Miata is currently housing some tools right now. So there's some stuff in this drawer that's uh, missing, but the 99% of it is in this drawer kind of has a little bit of everything i mean it has a, a obd2 scanner has a voltmeter has some extra wire i put vacuum line in here because it just it works in here i guess um, then i have a variety of connections and electrical tape i have no idea why i have that in here but it just kind of flows in here um, i have led bulbs so yeah, i have a I have a plethora of electrical in that drawer. So that's nice. Um, it's moving on. This I have virtually nothing in. I just have all my big T handle um, Allen keys. Um, I have obviously plenty more uh, room to meander and go in here with, I can start just continuously filling these drawers. So. Uh, again, not a big deal. I have plenty of room for all that stuff. Now this, remember I was saying that I had a lot of Harbor Freight? Well, this is a lot of my Harbor Freight. I got Blake brake bleeders. I have a polar set. I have punches. That's apparently missing one. I have a pickle fork. I have tap and die set. I have that I think is actually from Amazon. Um, oh yeah, spring compressor in there. I have a bearing set in there. I have a ball joint thing in there and I have um, grease that I can't remember where I got that from. Probably from O'Reilly's, who knows? Uh, again, all, everything in that drawer, seriously, I have, I've used one time and apparently I, I abused my pulley set. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, this is like the one the one time use drawer, but uh, I keep everything cuz you never know. You never know. Here is the everything that was in a bag drawer. Um so I got zip ties. I got zip ties up there. You can never have too many zip ties people. Um more zip ties. I have a random Mishimoto thing in there. I have no idea what that's from. I have a random Dremel thing that I've used once and then the main part of it exploded. So I just have all the bits and pieces in a Ziploc bag. See, you never know. Random nuts. Just everything that was just in a bag is in this drawer. Um, 
a lot of it could probably get relocated and that could be a home for my impact. But moving on, oh yeah, all these drawers are soft clothes too. Let me give a better example. Like that's nice, I like that. For this, this whole thing was uh, 500 bucks, no, not 500, it was 430, it was $430. And it, for a small garage area like this, this thing is perfect. Um, this drawer has virtually nothing in it, it has jumper cables and a, a weird bendy flashlight thing that I don't even think works. So moving on, that this could, this stuff could honestly leave and that could be all my impact stuff in here, but moving on, that's gonna go there. Um, this is the funnel drawer, the fun drawer. Uh, I, there's heat guns in here. Don't ask me why, but I have two of them for some odd reason. Um, funnels, coolant thing, and a oil filter thing in there for, again, uh, there's still lots of organization that needs to go into this little thing, but this is already bugging me. I need to do something about that. These drawers like to fall open. Um, AirPods, you never know when you need your AirPods. But yeah, and then I just have, you know, some slight organization down here. I have my jack. The other half of it is holding up the hood. But yeah, I mean, for $430, this little guy does the job. I like the red. I was going to get black, but I already had red, red, and red. And so I was like, you know what? Red, red is just a classic color, and that's the only one they had anyway at the store. So, yeah, and yeah, I just got this at Home Depot. So, I mean, honestly, Home Depot for something small like this is perfect. Um, zero, zero complaints about it so far. Um, again, it's it's perfect for me in a small area. And it kind of keeps everything, it keeps it keeps everything completely organized. And yeah, I mean, no complaints. It works awesome. Um, that's kind of like a garage organization video. But if you still want to stick with me, we're going to look at the entire on that guy. So yeah, but if you're not interested in garage organization fine by me but anyways yeah let's uh take a look at that guy because hopefully i won't have to take it into work tomorrow hopefully i can just put air in it Interesting. All right, first things first, I am not doing that again. Um, as you can see, that's just a bicycle pump and that took forever. That's about 40 PSI right now. Um, I thought I have an air compressor, I'm not poor. I just, for whatever reason, don't have the attachment I need to fill up a tire. I have an attachment for everything else under the sun, except for a tire. So, to test for any leaks. I already started a little bit. But this is very self-explanatory. It is just dish soap and water. And basically you spray it on the tire and even around the rim a little bit. And if there's any bubbles, then you have a leak. If there is no bubbles, then, well, at least for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing to work crank up the PSI, max it out, and then put it in a dunk tank. But if you have a dunk tank already, skip this part. Just go straight for a dunk tank every time. So, oh, excuse me, that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna see if there's any actual leaks. Because if there isn't a leak in the tire, then it's a crack in the wheel. And that's gonna be a bummer. Because I kind of like these wheels and I want to refinish them. So, that's what we're going to do. That is the game plan. Let's get to it.
All right, well, found the problem. We have a pretty, you can kind of see it. It's a pretty bad bead leak. See it there, see movement in there, all around the bead. Right there is the worst. So this is gonna be a uh, tomorrow at work issue. Um, but for now, yeah, that sucks. So we're gonna hope that um, it's not a cracked wheel. Hopefully we can just throw some seal. It's probably just corrosion. Honestly, that's probably what it is. See it a lot in my field of work. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to take that in tomorrow and fix it, which is going to suck. That's a pretty bad bead leak. So fingers crossed that uh, it is not a cracked wheel. It's just corrosion because corrosion is an easy fix. You just take the tire off, sand it down, put some sealant on there, and you're good to go. But, well, since I can't end the video on a happy note, um, there's the toolbox one more time. <laughs> All right. So I will uh, catch you guys in the next episode. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm going to be trying out YouTube Shorts again. Um, just kind of a heads up. Um, I'm going to just try posting on there more. And uh, just see how that works out as well for me. Because they're a lot easier to film and a lot simpler to make. Um, I'm not going to quit making the videos. Um, I enjoy making the videos. They just take a while. And uh, I need to clear out a big portion of it a day to film these videos. So, uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And while I'm down there, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a bunch. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.